Hello, and welcome to another Dubot CR Series tutorial. Today, we will be reviewing the basics of setting up and using tool coordinate systems using Dubot SC Studio. When an end effector such as a welding gun or a gripper is mounted on the robot, you can set up to 10 tool coordinate systems to more easily program positions and orientations. In SC Studio, go to Settings, Parameter, Global Coordinate, Tool Coordinate System. Here, you will see a list of coordinate systems on the left and a calibration menu on the right. We will be using this simple laser cut plastic to represent an end effector tool like a welding gun. Calibrating a new tool coordinate system requires the user to specify three positions and three poses. We will start with positions. Calibrating the position requires the user to specify three configurations in which the tool's end is in the same position. Move the robot to any three configurations that satisfy that requirement using either the drag function or by jogging the robot. Once all three positions have been set, we can move to pose calibration. Calibrating the pose requires the user to specify three orientations that will define the tool coordinate system's X, Y, and Z directions. The first captured pose will serve as a reference point for the rest of the captured poses. Jog or drag the robot in the tool coordinate system's Z direction and capture the second pose. Jog or drag the robot in the tool coordinate system's X direction and capture the third pose. The Y direction is calculated via the right hand rule. Click Add and Save to generate your new tool coordinate system. You can see the new system in action by configuring the jog panel's reference tool frame. The new tool coordinate system is ready to be used in your programs.